The new Commonwealth has announced it will allow European forces to occupy and defend uplink sites built in the UK and Ireland before the European Federation was founded in 2018. Welcoming the Parliament's decision to institute military conscription, President Perot vowed that the European Federation will prevail over its enemies. With production targets in all sectors being exceeded, Defence Minister François Poulain today praised the efforts of Europe's arms manufacturers. With the war entering its third week, Europe's enemies are producing weapons and military hardware in record amounts. Crowds of thousands line the streets of Paris today to view the splendour of an enforcer's battle group on parade. Responding to images of recent military parades, President Perrault has denounced the jingoistic barbarism of Europe's enemies. Pope John XXIV has again called for an immediate halt to all hostilities. President Perrault praised the Pope as a man of peace. Extranet hacker Paz Azure has been apprehended and is being held on charges of sedition and terrorist conspiracy. Russia has again shown its contempt for basic civil liberties with the arrest of peace activist Gogol 14. Anti-war activist No War Man has become the latest American political dissident to be summarily detained. Extranet polls confirm that European citizens are increasingly concerned about the number of casualties suffered over the past five weeks. A recent report shows that our enemies are paying a heavy cost to make war on the European Federation. Sabotage of missile defense systems is being blamed in the destruction of the EFS Jean d'Arc II supercarrier and at least three escort ships. The Russian supercarrier Olyanovsk and several escort ships were destroyed earlier today by a combination of missile and orbital laser strikes. The American supercarrier George Bush and several escort ships were destroyed earlier today by a combination of missile and orbital laser strikes. Citing that Israel has no desire to prolong the current war, Prime Minister Yossi Elon today announced the suspension of all military hardware sales to foreign powers. Calling them an unruly mob, President Perot denounced the war protesters as malcontents betraying their nation in its greatest hour of need. Thousands of Russian citizens filled the streets, risking police reprisals to protest their government's war on Europe. Thousands of American citizens filled the streets, risking police reprisals to protest their government's war on Europe. With the equatorial drought worsening, Tens of thousands of climate refugees are being turned away from overcrowded camps in South America, Africa, and India. President Perot is in stable condition following an assassination attempt in Paris. The authorities suspect foreign involvement. Russian President Vesovolod Kapolkin has narrowly escaped assassination at the hands of civilians opposed to his iron rule. U.S. President David Bassara has narrowly survived an assassination attempt. His approval ratings have been declining for some time due to recent military defeats. The death toll from South China Sea super typhoons Sepat and Linfa has exceeded 300,000. Rescuers are still uncovering bodies. Heavy fighting continues in the streets of Abuja and Tripoli following yesterday's surprise attacks by terrorist insurgents. President Perot assured the public that our forces are winning the battle and that petroleum production will not be affected. Russian forces are engaged in heavy fighting in the capital of Kazakhstan, where a heavily armed uprising has caught them off guard. American forces are engaged in heavy fighting in the capital of Venezuela, where a heavily armed uprising has caught them off guard. The global heat wave will not relent. Forest fires burn unchecked in the Amazon and the American West. Territorial army units have joined with municipal police forces to restore order in several European cities where anti-war protests quickly degenerated into violent rioting. Russian police and military units are responding with characteristic brutality to rioting by thousands of citizens opposed to their government's war with the European Federation. American police and military units are responding with an iron fist to rioting by thousands of citizens opposed to their government's war with the European Federation. Calling influenza M quarantine measures only partially successful, the health ministry is recommending that citizens stockpile food 
and minimize exposure to potential carriers. Yet another section of the Antarctic ice shelf has collapsed, bringing the year's total rise in sea level to 1.6 centimeters. Denying reports of food shortages, Resource Minister Luciano Bordesi is assuring citizens that Europe's food stores will last the winter and beyond. The death toll from this morning's detonation of a 15 kiloton nuclear device in Rome's city center is expected to number in the tens of thousands. The death toll from this morning's detonation of a 15 kiloton nuclear device in St. Petersburg is expected to number in the tens of thousands. The death toll from this morning's rush hour detonation of a 15 kiloton nuclear device in Los Angeles is expected to number in the tens of thousands. To expedite food distribution and contain the spread of influenza M, President Perot has ordered that martial law be instituted in all territories under EF control. A friendly reminder, compliance with the quarantine registration directive is compulsory. Simply present yourself at any neighborhood registration center. EF24 News will be temporarily suspending broadcasts. Official government channels will continue to provide viewers with all necessary information. Merci.